Hey guys, it's Shannon from That DIY Couple, and today I'm gonna show you an easy way that I make sauerkraut at home. To make today's kraut, I'm gonna be using a bunch of heads of this Napa, or sometimes called Chinese cabbage, uh, red cabbage, two jalapenos, two habaneros, some turmeric powder, some cayenne pepper, and some ginger paste. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove a couple of the outer leaves of the Napa cabbage. So I remove those and I set them aside. And what I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna use these to actually push down on the cabbage in the jar in order to prevent like mold from forming on the top. Um, I do not wash this cabbage at all. It has beneficial germs on it, which are gonna help us with the fermentation process. I take my chef's knife and I cut off his little bum. Interestingly, you can actually use this to regrow him, but we'll save that for another video. And then what I start to do is chop thin little slices, just like this. And sometimes I like to go straight down the center, just like that. So I've chopped up a bunch of the Napa cabbage and put it into various large receptacles, which I can use to smush it down and make the kraut. Now I'm gonna chop, chop up the red cabbage. Remove a couple of the outer leaves and set them aside. And then I like to stop removing it when the cabbage underneath looks shiny and purple. There you go. This is the base of it. The first thing I do is I chop that off. I'm gonna compost that. Looks like that underneath. The next thing I do, looks like I didn't remove this last piece. The next thing I do is I just chop it right, right straight down the middle. Ooh, it's heavy. Like that, and then um, it has a little bit of a, I didn't actually get it right down the middle. Here's a better example of one. It has a little bit of a core that you can see there. This isn't any good to eat. So what I do is I kind of carve that core out, just like that. There. <laughs> and then I just remove it and compost it. So then it looks kind of like Pac-Man. And so then I chop it a couple more times. So I'll just show you here. So, chop it in half like that. And then I just kind of go straight down a couple of times. And then just like this. You get it, just chop it up. So, here I've got all of the cabbage um, chopped up in these four receptacles. John is here, he's putting on these latex gloves and he's gonna help me to massage the kraut. How do you feel about that, babe? He's gonna help me because I actually got stitches the other day and so I can't do this myself. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put, oh, hi, Ben. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tablespoon of uh, sea salt and put that on top of each of these. Put it here. And now John's just gonna start basically massaging the kraut. The cabbage is going to start releasing juices. The salt's gonna help draw it out. The cabbage has a ton of water in it. So this is gonna start, it's gonna do this for quite a while, probably like 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put on some of the latex gloves and chop up these peppers. You definitely wanna have the light gloves on, otherwise you will get um, a lot of irritation. I like to remove the seeds from the jalapenos and stuff because otherwise it just gets way too hot. So it's starting to get juicy here. I'm gonna throw a little bit of jalapeno in there. I'm also gonna throw a little bit of ginger paste in there. So just like, good squeeze it. 
and I'm gonna throw a little bit of turmeric in there. And John's gonna put more cabbage in. This is what it looks like while John's massaging it. He's just really sort of aggressively pushing it down and grabbing it. And then I've gone ahead and cut up two jalapenos and two habaneros. And I'm just adding a little bit to each of these. And finally, I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric. This gives it a little bit of color. And turmeric is really good for us. Now you can see that as John works it, it starts to get juicy and the juices actually start to cover it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving this into these mason jars. I'm gonna be using these ball mason jars. I'm gonna be using them in both the pint and the quart size. I've moved the stuff that John is currently fixing into several of the jars. And the important thing is that when you push down on it, you should be able to see the water come up over it. I don't know if you can see that, but if you push down here, you can kind of submerge it in its own water. And that's the key. What's gonna happen is that this, the salt and the juices and the bacteria that are on the cabbage are gonna start the fermentation process over the next couple of days. And at the top, mold is gonna form. We're gonna push down the outer leaves to hold this down kind of like a weight. And a little bit of mold is gonna form there, but then when we time a couple days from now to throw this in the fridge, we will um, remove those outer leaves and whatever mold is there. And just down here, what the good stuff will be that will become the kraut. I'm just gonna take one of these outer leaves, I'm gonna break it in half. And then I'm gonna use it as kind of a weight, just like that. I'm gonna take this hard part too and just kind of fold it down in there. Just like that. So here's the kraut. Here's the outer leaves holding it down and the water is covering the top part of the crop. The next thing I do is I just take a paper towel. I take about this much and then I fold it in half like this. And I put it over my jar just like this. And then I take the lid of the jar and I just push it on top. I don't screw it on, I just push it on top. Now the paper towel is gonna kinda of cover the side, it's gonna prevent a lot of light from getting in there. And I'm just gonna put this in the corner of my kitchen for a couple of days and let that fermentation process start. I'm not refrigerating this yet. We need to get it sort of warm so that the fermentation process starts. So as John is just pushing it down in there, leaving a little bit of room on the top. You can see that the juices start to run over it. And to the extent that you have water left over, just pour it on top, just like that. Hey guys, so this is the final product. Lots and lots of kraut here, ready to start the fermentation process. I just kind of turn it so that the um, paper towel is sort of shielding from where the sun comes in and hits it, and then I'm gonna leave it for about three or four days before I remove the cabbage layer and then put it into the fridge with the regular cap on. Here's what it looks like after about a week in the refrigerator and I love enjoying this every day, twice a day for my meals. So that's it you guys, I hope you liked my kraut video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos or have a special request, please write it down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.